On one side of the bridge we have St. Joseph. And on the other we have Ben Harbor. We're about to see the barge open up for a ship coming through. Whoa. According to World Population Review, there's about 9,600 people that live in Benton Harbor over there. It's one of the six most dangerous cities in all of Michigan. In a lot of places you can see it at number one. And you go by, I think, like per capita or something, even though there's only 9,600 people. And now, some of the footage you see there is of Benton Harbor High School, known for some of their famous athletes over the years. Uh, one in the NFL that stands out is Joy Cabell. Most notably, he was one of the serviceable backups for the Lions at some point. Um, you know, there was a couple good seasons where it was pretty solid there. I know for those fantasy football players, you know that uh, it was a pretty good option with you because the Lions would give it to him in those close line situations. Most recently, the 2020 Mr. Basketball winner, Scooby Johnson, Carlos Scooby Johnson. He's on to but Butler University now, where he just finished up his freshman season. Some of that I did not know beforehand, but admit, glad I found through just stumbling down one of the coaches' uh, Twitter feeds is that Kaiser Gondrazak, even though it's pronounced or it's spelled Gondrazik, but I hear different asks say Gondrazak, so that's where I'm coming from with that. Gondrazak, Smith on the left, takes the pass. Oh, great pass. He's back up. Gondrazak finding Norris. Transition, West Virginia. Gondrazak. Gondrazak launches the. Hello, everyone. I stand corrected. It is Kaiser Gondrazik, not Gondrazak. I know just personally, sometimes there's announcers that either don't take the time to learn how to pronounce a player's name or coach, and also there's some who also just mistakenly say it the wrong way on the fly, and maybe, you know, the next possession or later on in the game, they say her name correctly, but yeah, it is Kaiser Gondrazik, not Gondrazak. It's probably one of the best players to come from Ben Harbor, regardless of any sport they've played. At one point, she scored 72 points in a postseason game, which is crazy. Uh, she went on to win, of course, Miss Basketball for the state of Michigan, and then went on to play her freshman year at Michigan, had to transfer, and then played her final three, technically four, because of the year you had to sit out for transferring years at West Virginia. She averaged around 12, 13, 14 points, and then her senior season, the most recent season, she averaged 19, three and a half assists per game. She had over 100 steals on the year, nearly three rebounds as well. And yes, safe to say, she was gonna get drafted. And she went fourth overall to the Indiana Fever. So she's, so she's looking to have a strong rookie season there. Someone I didn't know about at all, man. How good she was, man. Ben Harbor was something I wanted to explore on and just to see a little bit more about it. And I had to stop by and see, just knowing that how well Carlos Scooby Johnson was, where they won a state championship in 20, you know, 2019, because 2020 got cut short. So that was cool to see his junior year. Something though too, I know is that uh, Benton Harbor High School almost closed at some point within the past few years and it was able to go on through the pandemic, which is crazy in itself. And I know it's some place that's hurting for funding and whatnot. So hopefully, you know, the school can continue on um, and they can find funding and whatnot. Cause it's always great to see the people succeed. It's from smaller towns and definitely Benton Harbor is a smaller town. But just looking up, there's different restaurants in the area that highlight just the great tradition of basketball in Benton Harbor. And someone who I got to figure out through working at their college was Chet the Jet Walker, man. Dude was a killer on the court, had a long NBA career. He's probably the best basketball player ever from Benton Harbor and another famous alum that you see come from, from that school. That was cool to see Chet the Jet Walker working at Bradley and the school's, school's still staying afloat, so that's good. Because on a side note, St. Joseph High School over in the Chicagoland area, I forgot the exact name of the suburb, uh, they had to close. And they had the Poop Dreams documentary there, documentary uh, two players that were hoping to go D1. And then they had Isaiah Thomas there, you know, no, most notably known for his career with the Pistons. So it was sad to see a close like that, school like that close. And I know Ben Harbor's hanging on right now, and hopefully there's a way for this school to continue on. I would have loved to walk and talk around Benton Harbor High School and stuff to, to get a little more, but 
The football field was definitely gated off and closed, so I wasn't gonna try to hop in just to get some video. So yeah, I mean, the pandemic's affected everyone, but you could see certain areas get hit hard more than others. And, you know, I just hope that somehow that Benton Harbor, you know, one of these areas I can get through this tough time and that high school can stay open and whatnot because it's produced some pretty good alum throughout the years. Anyway, that's all I got. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more content. See you around. But I can never be you because I had tall like I'm on my tiptoes. Baby, you think a little too small. I got big goals, baby. Hey, where the money?